in this session probably I will give you tips how to solve questions in a faster pace. Now percentage is the backbone of the entire quantitative section. So we cannot undermine the significance of percentage in solving questions. The only talent that lies in solving question faster, uh, let it be a question on profit loss discount, uh, compound interest, simple interest, averages, ratio proportion, time speed distance and time in work is how fast you can do questions or how fast you are in, in solving questions on percentages. So there are a couple of things that I am going to tell you in today's session. One among them is conversion of a percentage into a fraction. I'm not going to discuss what is percentage because as an engineer you must be knowing that what is the percentage. So the talent dies in how fast you can convert a percentage into a fraction. So let's say I have written a simple question. If you are supposed to find 12.5% of 16.66% of 33.33% of 720. So one is an idea is a uh, conventional approach wherein you write this as 12.5 divided by 100 into 16.66 divided by 100, 33.33 divided by 100 into 720 and then start cancelling cancelling the numerator and the denominator which is uh, which is not the preferable way of doing things in a competitor examination. Another approach is in case you can directly convert this percentage into its fractional form and that's very simple. Now what we know is that one is 100% so 1 by 2 is half of it which is 50% 1 by 4 is half of we are dividing left hand side and right hand side by 2 will come out to be 25% that means if I divide this by 2 and this by 2 this will come out to be 1 by 8 and this will come out to be 12.5% so that means 12.5 is nothing but 1 by 8 so the fractional part of 12.5% is 1 by 8 similarly we know that 1 by 3 is 33.33% that means half of 1 by 3 is 1 by 6, which is nothing but 16.66%. Now, you can replace 16.66 with 1 by 6. This you already know is 1 by 3 into 720. 8 into 9 is 72. If you solve this, this will come out to be 15. And 3 divides 15 5 times. So your answer comes out to be equal to 5. So that is the significance of directly converting percentage into fraction. And that can only happen in case you would have remembered your percentages expressed in percentage uh, your percentages expressed in uh, fractions from 1 to 30 so that is one task that you have to 